morning, friends. Happy Earth Day. Today's a very special day that we celebrate our Earth. The clean air that we have, the fresh water, the green grass, trees, and flowers, and how we can take care of it. Really, every day is Earth Day, as we know, because we take care of our Earth. But today's an extra special day for us to remember all of the gifts that we get from Earth and how we are able to take care of it. So first, I'm going to start by reading you the story, Earth Day by Margaret McNamara, illustrated by Mike Gordon. Earth Day. Earth Day was coming April 22nd. That's today. The banners in Mrs. Connor's classroom read, Save the Earth. But Emma did not know how. Hmm. The other first graders had lots of ideas. I will rescue the polar bears, said Ejen. I will plant a forest, said Katie. I will save the dolphins, said Michael. Those are big ideas, said Mrs. Connor. What other ideas can you think of? What's in their thought bubble? When Emma went home, she was sad. I cannot save the earth, Emma said to her dad. I do not have any big ideas. We can start small, said her dad. Small is no good, said Emma. Small is fine, said her dad. All that week, Emma and her dad did small things to help the earth. They shopped at the farmer's market. Emma brushed her teeth without running the water. And dad turned off the TV. They went for walks and picked up trash along the way. They sorted cans and bottles. They used bikes instead of the car. On Earth Day, Ejen drew a picture of polar bears. Katie talked about forests. Michael made dolphin noises. Emma thought about all the things she did with her dad. Then she made her list. Her list was not long. Emma's small ideas. Slow down. Recycle. Only use what you need. From then on, Mrs. Connor's class slowed down. They recycled, and they only used what they needed to. Emma's small ideas are pretty big, said Mrs. Connor. The earth is safe in your hands. What a nice story, friends. Different ways that we can help our earth. Maybe today you'll want to go out and pick up some trash. Maybe you'll want to plant some seeds or water your flowers. Well, one way that we always help our earth in school is that we recycle, we compost, and we put trash in the trash bin. So today when I had my snack of an orange, I'm going to put the leftover rind for the food into compost. My plastic bag is trash. And the delicious drink of iced tea that I had is plastic and recycling. I've already started helping our earth just like we do when we're together in school. So perhaps you can help your loved ones to take care of the earth in many different ways as well because every day is Earth Day.
My friends, thank you for being with me again. I'll see you soon. Happy Earth Day. We love you.